What's up everybody, Ryan here. Got a no AC service call. I believe it's this unit right down here. Particular area of the store. It's reading 74 on the thermostat. It was set to 70. So let's take a look and see. Oh yeah, it's this one. Nice and cool. I don't believe these are heat pumps. New Lennox, 2020. So let's uh, open this thing up and see what we got. Condenser fans running. I don't believe the compressor's running. It might be though. We'll find out. had air movement in the store. Yeah, here we go. Contactors pulled in and she is hot, very hot. All right, now well, let me see what we got. All right guys, I got 220 pounds of standing pressure, more than likely off on thermal overload. Looks like, uh, Lennox is moving to the Core Max fittings as well. So let me check this blower, make sure it's running the right direction or something stupid like that. And then I'll kill power and we'll cool this thing off. Come on, which way do I gotta turn you? I guess like this. Filters look all right. Well, let's go ahead and shut this thing off. You what, this fitting right here looks very suspicious. I don't know if I'm getting it on camera, but there's a large gap right there in the weld. And I gotta wonder if it's not low on refrigerant and leaking right there. I don't have much oil or anything. Um, but, like I said, I got 220 some odd pounds of standing pressure. The compressor is hot. So more than likely off on thermal overload. I'm gonna test it now, but I bet you any money. Might be leaking right there. All right guys, I've got uh, open windings got no continuity between the windings here so doesn't mean the compressor's bad more than likely it's off on thermal overload so i'm going to leave the power off real quick i'm going to get my leak detector and see if i can pick anything up right here and if i don't then i'm going to go ahead and uh get a hose up here and i'm going to cool this thing down and see if we can get it to reset all right guys i got my h10 all warmed up let's take a look here I got some soap bubbles here. This one here looks like the paint is off it a little bit. I'm gonna test here. I'm also gonna test this fitting here. I got hose down at the bottom of the uh, roof hatch. Just in case it's not leaking here, then we'll cool this thing down and uh, see if it resets. Nothing right off the bat, so. Just wanted to test it with the uh, soap bubbles here. We might, our pressure might not be high enough to pick up here, even though it's got 210 pounds. I've had leaks not show themselves until I got it up to 400 on these 410 units. Well, I think I'm gonna be pulling the hose up. We're gonna be cooling this compressor off and then figure out why it why it went out on internal overload if that's the case might just be a bad compressor but I 
I believe it's off on internal just due to the temperature of it. So I'm gonna let this soap bubble sit while I pull up a little bit of a garden hose and we'll get this thing cut nice and cool and see if we can get this to reset. All right, guys, I've got some water flowing here. Let me be real careful not to get it down that, those electrical penetrations into the unit. But I'm gonna sit here and cool this thing off and see if I can get it to reset. I'm wondering if this unit's not phased correctly. There's no other issues with the other ones, but maybe something goofy happened with this one. And since it's so new, maybe it's not phased right. Uh, we'll see. I gotta get the compressor reset though first, so I'll be back with you here as soon as I get some continuity through the windings. I got the water off. I went ahead and cooled this thing down. We've got continuity now. Nothing shorted the ground. We should be good to start this up and at least see what it's doing. And uh, if it's pumping, if it's low, or what. What I know so far is the blower runs. It's running the right direction. The filters are clean and the condenser fan motor runs. Compressor was off on thermal overload, so I'm gonna plug it back in. And I'm gonna button it up and we're gonna see what it does. No water in there, we're good. I got my gauges still attached, so. Let's see what happens. Get these two doors pushed shut. We'll see if it's low. I'm not a real big fan of these, these uh, latches, I can tell you that. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and push the contactor in just to see if this thing is uh, phased right. It's sound, uh, you get a distinct sound when they're running backwards. And it's running backwards. Watch. Now when a compressor comes on, my, my um, head pressure should go up, my suction pressure should go down. This one's not doing anything. So right off the bat, we're gonna kill power. Let me confirm the power's off real quick. Okay guys, power is off, I confirmed it. Uh, 460 volts, so you wanna be real sure uh, before you go poking around. All right, this is our main power in, it all lands right on this contactor. So to uh, reverse rotation and phase this compressor properly, you just have to interchange one of the two, um, one of the two wires. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna switch right here at the bottom. That way the only thing I'm reversing is the compressor itself. There's one. There's two, so we'll just flip-flop and retighten. Hopefully this compressor's not damaged from running that way. I can't imagine that they ever got cooling out of this. So we've got it reversed. The uh, power the phasing just make sure all these are good and tight yeah there we go yeah those two are kind of loose okay well let's uh kick power back on Ooh, that sounds a lot better. And look at those pressures. Suction pressure's going down. 
Head pressure's going up. So that was the problem. Nice and cold on the suction line. It wasn't phased right since it was put in. I wonder when they opened the store, when these units got commissioned. Because that should have that should have got caught right there. So let's go ahead and uh thermostat's probably doing its delay. I'm gonna jump it out real quick and we're gonna run it. I can't they must have not run this in air. This store's like brand new. I'll have to ask the guy. Um, but they probably were running in heat and haven't run the cooling yet. Yeah, be real careful here. I want to make it home tonight. G. R. There we go. Should be kicking on here. Y1, R, R to G. Why aren't we kicked on yet? Let's give it a minute. There we go. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Hopefully there's no damage to this compressor. But as you can see, our suction pressure's down, our head pressure's up like it should be. Uh, before, it wasn't pumping anything, it was running backwards. 3.12. Come on. We'll do it right down here. I'm gonna get some amp draws, I'll be back. Well, we're all around the 3.5 area, which is good. Compressor. Running load amps four, or about three and a half. Yeah, I'll call that good, I suppose. I didn't switch the um, phasing on the motor, so it should still be going the right direction. And it is, it's good. Give a little touch here, nice and cold. Take a look, nothing looks like it's rubbing. I'm happy with that. I got a list of, of uh, no ACs to head on today, so uh, that was the main problem here, guys. It, open windings. Don't always cons don't always assume the compressor's bad if the windings are open. Uh, could be off on a thermal overload, internal thermal overload. And that's exactly what the problem was here, and it was caused because the compressor was running backwards, it wasn't phased right, and it wasn't pumping anything. It was spinning, but it was spinning the wrong way. It wasn't pumping anything. So right now we're at 138 pounds. Suction, 273 uh, pounds of uh, head pressure. We're gonna let this thing run for a bit while I, um, while I wind up my hoses and get everything uh, put back on my cart. Head back to the van. Yeah, we're putting out 58 degree air we've got 78 degree air coming back so that's 20 degrees I like it all right I'm gonna get all this hose wound up start cleaning up and just let this thing run for a bit look at that they got a lake over there they got a lake over there I can see geese uh oh what's this goose poop right here that's goose poop all right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button. Hit like. Leave me a comment. Uh, tell your friends about the videos. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.